Here we go, part 10, awesome nightfall. What's the thing about beauty presides? <laughs> Who presides? Beauty presides. Love According is, the, it's only, love is in the assembly. Only a member of the assembly love presides. is a member? A member of the assembly. Uh -huh. Where are you going? I'm reading from Sagio. Who you gari no poem or up to poem five sixty four. I don't know if that's in some directory, but it must be. I'll look it up. <laughs> yes, five sixty four, but we're on page ninety four. And in translation William Lafleury says Winter has withered everything in this mountain place. Dignity is in its desolation now, and beauty in the cold clarity of its moon. Beauty's in the cold clarity of the moon. So we have beauty. So he says, winter has withered everything in this mountain place. Dignity is in its desolation now, and beauty in the cold clarity of its moon. Now he's looking at the complete withered nature of winter. Mm -hmm. It's all withered, <laughs> but the moon has got clear clarity. And now he says, <laughs> he says, Poem 577, So steep and dangerous is Mount Araki, Achi that there's no path down the valley till one is made for snowshoes by white snow falling over all. There's no path except for a snow path. Hmm. Does that make sense? I guess you can climb a mountain in snow and you can't climb it in rock. I guess that could be true. Huh? Maybe the snow allows you to make a platform with the... I guess that could be true. I mean, I don't know. I need to do some research in mountain climbing. <laughs> Shall I send this out to an expert? <laughs> no, but it makes sense a little bit. Well, let's see if we can... Uh, this is another layer where you can build a pod. We can you post it on of, uh, Instagram. No, you can build a step, a step this way, in a way. Of course, I By suppose that's true. It says, he says, so steep and dangerous is Mount Arachi that there's no path down the valley till one is made for snowshoes by white snow falling over all. All right, so, why oh, is this so hard to read here? Yeah. Why is this book in the way? Let's see, he says, Winter has withered everything in this mountain place. Dignity is in its desolation now, and beauty in the cold clarity of its moon. No. Mm -hmm. Dignity is in the desolation. How do you spell withered? Withered. W-I-T-H-E-R-E-D. Withered, that's where... Thank you. All the little plants are shrunk. Mm -hmm. Now he says, When the fallen snow bury the twigs bent by me to mark a return trail, unplanned in strange mountains, I was holed up all winter. Hmm. His return. Might, what is his trail? To stay there, but he he lost. <laughs> he 
When the fallen snow buried the twigs bent by me to mark a return trail, unplanned in mountain and strange mountains, I was holed up all winter. That's kind of amazing. He's holed up. He marks his way, his way, so he can return back to his cabin. But how do you get holed up all winter? Yeah, and what do you eat in that place? I don't know. That's what he says. Anyways, he says, snow has fallen on field paths and mountain paths, bearing them all. I can't tell here from there my journey in the mist of sky. I think he's speaking in uh, images, and double meaning. Have you speaking? Snow has fallen on field paths and mountain paths, bearing them all. I cannot tell here from there my journey in the mist of sky. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Then he says, Here I huddle alone in the mountain shadow, needing some companion somehow. The cold, biting rains pass off and give me the winter moon. Hmm. This is how when the snow covers everything, you can tell the difference. He's saying he, he got that a companion as the winter moon as his companion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. So he says, here I huddle alone in mountain shadow, needing some companion somehow. The cold biting rains pass off and give me the winter moon. Mm -hmm. Now he says, he gone far to the northeast at year's end, he says, in poem 624. A forlorn feeling, and this time more sharp than ever, journeying along under a vast sky where I see the old year sink to its close. Mm -hmm. It's sinking to its close. Mm -hmm. Going on. Passion for a blossom that still has not fallen. Hidden away under leaves, a blossom still left over makes me yearn to chance upon my secret love this way. Interesting, you know, that snow and no, the blossom is like frozen. Probably. Where do you find a blossom? <laughs> the blossom probably frost. And that this way you can uh, laugh at Survive the winter. Hmm. Like, really, can say only by wintering through will your soul survive. Only by wintering through? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Here he says, love like cut reeds, love like cut, 657. Not so confused as to lean only one way. My love life, a sheaf of field reeds, also bends before each wind that moves it. Now love is like the reeds. <laughs> Do you think love should sort of bend with the wind? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we do, don't we? People do that. You do have to bend yourself with the, for love's sake. Mm -hmm. I can't have it my way all the time. Mm -hmm. I have to bend to what you want. <laughs> What did he say? 
not so confused as to lean only one way, my love life. A sheaf of field reeds also bends before each wind that moves it. Hmm. He says a sheaf of field reeds also bends before each wind that moves it. Also bends before? Bends before the wind that moves it? <laughs> Now it's bending before the wind hits it, or it's preparing to bend, or it's in a state of bendingness. No, no, no. Before, it doesn't mean in time, it means in space. The wind, if the wind pushes this way, it Seems bends I have a before shape. that. Uh -huh. All right, we'll let, we'll let if you can interpret it. <laughs> Not so confused as to lean only one way, my love life. A sheaf of field reeds also bends before each wind that moves it. Yeah. So you figured it out? <laughs> well, I haven't figured it out, but I'm letting it process through my unconscious mind uh -huh. and then like, after I sleep on it. Everything in that place, uh, like that does when the wind moves, uh, when the wind blows, it bends before the wind. Uh -huh. Not in time, before. Let's go on. Love is like fallen leaves now. Huh. Now he says, each morning the wind dies down and the rustling leaves go silent. Was this the passion of all night lovers now talked out in parting? Huh. But now I thought it's already winter and uh, the snow covers everything. Oh, this has nothing to do no. with it. Love is like fallen leaves now. No, no. how can uh -huh. that be leaves of the trees? Well, yeah. listen to this. It says, each morning the wind dies down and the rustling leaves go silent. So let's say love is like a bunch of rustling leaves and then they go silent. Was this the passion of all night lovers now talked out in parting? Now he's listening to the leaves. <laughs> he thinks they're lovers. They were talking and then they go silent. The guy's been alone in the woods too long, maybe. <laughs> Love like fallen leaves. Each morning the wind dies down and the rustling leaves go silent. Was this the passion of all night lovers now talked out in parting? Uh, I did read, um, interesting, I read in a, a book review, interesting, a review by the Japanese critic saying, um, his girlfriend is uh, like the empress, uh, or the one woman he loved was like a, uh, oh, I don't have the information, but she's in the court and she's either the empress and he used to write to her and then she dies and he, he wrote to her lady in waiting, his, her ladies, she had ladies in waiting. Even after she died, he wrote to them. 